Hi, my name is Rob Ketch. I'm the Vice President of OEM Sales with Fishman Acoustic Amplification. Fishman is in its 30th year of business at this point, and we work with the world's top instrument builders and artists and retailers for making primarily acoustic amplification products. I'm Ian Popkin. I'm Director of Product Development at Fishman. Uh, and it's very exciting to uh, be talking about the, uh, the object printer because it's had such an impact on our ability to be more predictable on time to market. Um, it's also very exciting for the mechanical engineers, the people involved with, with the product to be able to, a few hours later, realize their ideas. A project that is really brand new for us hitting the market and, and really exciting here at Fishman is our new Kula onboard ukulele system. The Kula is an example where we really got a chance to use uh, the object desktop machine to its fullest advantage. When you've got an instrument that's this big, you've got a really unique challenge from a mechanical point of view. And what we did with Kula is we created the world's first onboard ukulele system that has both three bands of equalization and a built-in uh, chromatic tuner. So SLA was always a very expensive, very slow way to model things. Um, and of course it couldn't be installed in the instrument because it couldn't bend, it couldn't flex, it couldn't perform mechanically uh, like the genuine article, the end wood. They have such a good structural integrity that we could prototype things like this belt plaque uh, clip and actually test whether it was going to work. That's a huge difference between um, older technologies, SLA technologies, or uh, some of the more brittle resins that are available. Our ability to put um, some stresses, mechanical stresses on these parts and really test whether they're going to work uh, it's just, just absolutely fantastic. That way you really minimize the number of uh, revisions that you need on the tool when it comes time to cut steel. The pieces that, uh, that we got uh, out of the object desktop, um, the plastic and the material was um, of such good quality that I was able to send these to customers after our shop had very carefully painted and applied graphics to them and I had people that thought they were production parts. As you can see these parts are remarkably uh, good looking finished uh, and are going to so closely resemble the final product that um, when we went to the trade show with these nobody could distinguish the fact that these were prototypes. In the past uh, with plastic molded parts, which is you know what a lot of these end up being, uh, there would be such a long time between a drawing or an SLA and a molded part, uh, we would often miss a cycle for somebody. They'd see it, they'd like it, they'd be excited about it, but they didn't have enough proof and they didn't have a product that they could really test and demo, so they said, boy we can't wait, but we've we've you know, and we still like it, we're still interested, but we've missed this model year, if we've missed this cycle. Obviously, when you miss cycles like that, you never get them back. As you can see, you know, the, the, the fit and finish um, that we're able to achieve with these resins, you know, off of the object is, uh, is just remarkable. These um, were the star of the show when people took a look at them. They just seemed like, uh, you know, people were ready to, to write an order for them. So not only do we have the cosmetics, the way that it looks, but the complete inside workings and functionality of the pickup. When it came time to try to do our pilot run, uh, it went very smoothly because we had already demonstrated that we can build this product exactly the way that we wanted it to. Instead of waiting for every single part to come off tool, we were already ahead of the game when, when it came time for that. Now it's a real item that they can hold in their hand, they can install in their instrument, and they can, you know, they can, uh, they can take it into the big boss at the company who may not want to hear about SLAs and prototypes and all that sort of thing. You can go, here you go boss, we've got a great new system, we're going to sell a million of them. And you can show them a real example of the product. 
very, very powerful in closing the sale. So finally, uh, there's also the whole aspect of using the machine, practically using the machine. It's a very, very smooth process. It's very easy to use. And we also have a good idea of how long it's going to take for the parts. In one day, just recently, uh, we actually had one part that we went through three different revisions in a single day. So that's pretty remarkable to get that kind of uh, close tolerance um, and that kind of handshaking to the point where um, three revisions later we have a part that we think that we can actually work with. We're going to be making uh, many more pieces with the object desktop and um, basically repeat the success of the Kula, uh, the, the impact on the timeline and the impression that it makes has been uh, really valuable to us here.